Hey you all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Don and I create videos about academic, social work, and lifestyle. And today is semi-academic, semi-social work. And that is personal statements. I've been receiving so many inquiries about personal statements. I've actually worked with a number of you now about crafting your personal statements on both the undergrad and graduate level. So I thought I'd make a video today just to kind of discuss a little bit about crafting your personal statement. Before we get started, please be sure to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn on your notification button so you can be notified of more videos like this. So you are interested in applying to an undergraduate program that may require admissions after a few years of gen eds or you're interested in applying to graduate school and you need to craft your personal statement well you've come to the right place and i am so passionate about the personal statements and this is kind of the first tip is to identify what story you want to tell it is so important that you understand how your past and how your journey has influenced where you want to go next and how a graduate degree or that particular program is going to do that. So you want to figure out your story. So some good prompts that you could do could be some free writing. Maybe you can begin journaling. If you've vlogged your experience, kind of like how I've been vlogging my social work experience, then you can kind of look back to see how has your past impacted your present and how would you like your future to be formed? The second tip I have is once you know your story, create an outline. Outlines are going to save your life. I cannot tell you how many times I've had to help my clients start at the basics. So if you know that you are getting ready to write a four or five page personal statement, you want to know how you want that flow to go. Yes, you may have some prompts. You may, it may be a four part essay where there's four different questions. Well, you can still create an outline for each one of those questions. Or if you can, if you have the free will to incorporate the answers into the entire essay, then we can just create one huge outline and ensuring that we are answering those four questions. But an outline is going to help your story flow. You want it to just flow like a river. You don't want it to be stagnant or you, or you don't want it to have static. You don't want it to leave things unanswered or leave blanks. You also don't want it to feel random. You don't want it to feel like, okay, where did this come from? And my third tip is going to be, as you are writing your statements, you want to make sure that there is a cohesiveness to it. That's one thing that I actually learned applying to doctoral programs. When I looked back uh, and, and I spoke with a, a pen, a current Penn DSW student. And when I look, when I spoke with her, and shout out to you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that conversation because it was so eye-opening. And she, just her giving me space to talk and her asking me questions, I was able to see the gaps in my own essay. And I was like, what was I thinking when I had this when I wrote this because I talked about one thing here and I should have continued that topic here when asked about my research and I talked about something completely different. That does not help you, my friend. Do not do that. Learn from me. Don't do it. No. So 
this i share that personal statement you all know that i'm very transparent but i share that to stay on track i share that antidote to show that even myself i am an excellent writer when i took the gre i scored a six out of six i can write but even we need writers even we need someone to a, a, an extra set of eyes so that would be the next tip and probably the last one for this video is to you know make sure that you have multiple readers looking at your essay you want to have your mom you want to have your partner you want to have your friend you want to have a classmate you want to have a professor if they have time and have the desire and will to look at it and give you feedback and you want to take that feedback and and you know make it your own and then on top of all of that you want to bring in someone like me someone who can look for those grammatical errors someone who can identify you know when you're maybe overusing a word or maybe this is an incomplete sentence or maybe this is a uh, a complex sentence it's not easy to read you, you you know you want to make sure that there's a balance of technical talk and you know but it's but in being in a relatable way and you still using layman terms as well so it's easy to read and that's again where i come in at i if you need someone to look at your essay i'm more than happy to do that because that's something i'm passionate about and you need someone who has the energy and the time to do it because you don't want someone just skimming through it and they miss something and then you submit it and that's one thing i can say my essay had no grammatical errors my essay was easy to read it was captivating it was it was good in terms of storytelling. To conclude this video, please, please, please write your, you know, explore your story, create your outline, make sure you have multiple readers. And as you have multiple readers, that's going to prompt you to make edits. And last but not least, invest in a professional editor such as myself if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section below if you're a graduate what did you find most helpful when you were writing your personal statement and if you are a prospective student you are writing your essays currently you're working on your personal statements currently let me know in the comment section below what's your biggest challenge thanks so much for watching and until i see you next time be you be great